Greetings everyone, King Torio here, and welcome to my Legend of Dead Kel review. The Legend of Dead Kel is a side quest expansion for Kingdoms of Amalur that costs $9.99 and is available on all platforms and can be accessed at any point in the game provided you're at least level 10 and you have access to the city of Rithir. Uh, there are two main parts to the Legend of Dead Kel. The first is the main story quest and the second is the Grave Howl up keep upgrading. Uh, the main story quest involves meeting up with Captain Bradigan, uh, perhaps a play on Futurama's Captain Branigan, and heading to the Isle of Gallows End uh, to end the reign of the menacing pirate named Dead Kel. Uh, the main story is very similar to what we've seen in the game proper, uh, but it's definitely on the upper echelon of side quests. It was engaging and had me wanting to see it to the end, but it definitely doesn't try to reinvent the wheel. It's the same standard fare that you either loved, hated, or tolerated, but generally I can say it's a step up from most of the quests in the main game. The other part of the DLC is upgrading of Gravehal Keep. Uh, here you start with an overrun abandoned keep and you slowly gather resources to build it back to its former glory. While this is simply performing fetch quests, each time you upgrade your keep you get to bring in a new person who can perform tasks for you. Such as training a pet that will give you combat bonuses, scouting for shipwrecks, translating books, or performing diplomatic trade missions for you. I found this to be quite enjoyable and I didn't stop until I fully maxed out my keep. I would generally do part of the main story and then do part of the keep story, uh, so I'd have a nice break between the two. While The Legend of Dead Kel adds a new story quest, lore stone locations, achievements, weapons, armors, and side quests, it's simply an expansion quest. It doesn't add anything to the fundamentals of the game like new skills, professions, or destinies, and it also doesn't address any of the game's flaws such as the perceived lack of difficulty. That may be disappointing to some who wanted a more fleshed out expansion uh, instead of DLC. Overall, I enjoyed my time with The Legend of Dead Kel. Uh, it took me about five hours to complete the main quest and the keep quest, and a few more hours for the, some of the side quests and managing my keep and upgrading my pets. Uh, if you didn't like the Kingdoms of Amalur, uh, you can safely pass on the DLC, but if you're like me and you love the combat and you fell for the charm of Amalur, and you've already put a few dozen hours into Reckoning, I think The Legend of Dead Kel is a fine addition for the price. I uh, hope you enjoyed the review, guys. As always, hit that like button, hit that sub button for future content, and that's it, guys. Take care.